Hello, my name is Darren Chang, and today I'll be showing you how to install samples on your MacBook and run Empire Load. So first, you want to click the enter this link that I'll have provided in the description. Um, go and click the samples install button. Um, for me, it is samples 1.10, um, but for you, it might be a different version. Um, as soon as that's installed, find out the location of where it's installed and double click the file to create a folder like so. You then want to CD to the folder and then follow the building and installing uh, steps. So first, dot slash configure prefix, um, which is the location where it'll be installed. Um, for me, I just use home samples that'll be installed into this samples folder after configure you type make which may take a sec As soon as that's done, you then want to type make install. Now that that's done, um, we need to then copy this line uh, for sh or bash users. We are bash users, so we want to copy and paste this. Um, where to install is the location at which we installed it. So for me, it's going to be home. Okay, so this should all be good. Uh, and just to test, let's type in SAM tools. It should tell us the version 1.10. Awesome. So now to running SAM tools. So first, you want to locate the the sample that you're trying to run and pile up on. And really quickly, and pile up will essentially. Um, at least the way we've programmed it is go over a BAM uh, at certain points that or at the locations that we designate. In our case, it'll be uh, variants that are found by a mutect and count the number of um, ref and alt reads. Um, so Sometimes the DNA index workflow is imperfect, or sometimes a sample is um, misused. Um, for example, uh, this uh, P21 ear 02 um, was accidentally run with the wrong RNA. So we're going to correct that mistake right here. So in order to do that, we then want we first want to CD to the uh, point mutation or point mutation exome folder. Uh, in this case, it'll be the exome folder. This is so that we can, uh, this is so that the mpileup script can um, output the, f the output file into the correct folder. So it, um, the output file will be put in here. The second thing is just to make sure you have Perl on your computer. Um, all MacBooks come with Perl, so um, that should be pretty easy. You then want to uh, run the mpileup script um, on your BAM. So we are looking to run it on the RNA script, and in order to do so, we need to go to normal mutation burden, sequencing data, um, Darwin RStudio shell scripts, scripts, mpileup, and you'll find a few scripts here, but the ones we're going to be looking at are uh, primarily these four. Um, DNA will be used for DNA or exome. Sort 0 or sort 1 will be used for the sorted.filtered files, um, like here. 
and RNA will be used for the RNA star genome band. So for this case, we want to drag the RNA Perl scripts. We then want to drag the input folder, which is um, the mml.txt file that you get from DNA Nexus. It's right here. It'll usually be under the sequencing data folder. So you then take this, you go to the RNA folder, you drag the star genome bam file over, and then you press enter. So uh, there seems to be some error lines. That's what it may look like. But um, in actuality, it's uh, telling you that there are no reads in this area. So it will continue to run through. Um, there may also be another error that uh, may say something like uh, um, the index file is older than the original file. This is not an error. This is just a dating issue with the um, dot .bam file and the extended dot .by index file. So no need to worry. Um, so long as you get a good output, then everything should be fine. So we just need to wait. Okay, so the master mutation Okay, now that the mpile up is done, um, what you want to do is go back to the mass mutation list uh, where the mass mutation list folder is, get the respective Excel file. Um, we use the text file for the mpileup input, but um, we want to enter res the results that we get into the Excel. So remember the current directory that you put the um, mpileup output in. Open it up. Make sure it's an illustrator. And then copy and paste each gene RNA outputs and paste. And it should be different. Um, it's hard to see right now. Okay, there's expression here, which is good. Usually means that it's the right sample. All right, just save that and then redo the processes to run the mass mutation list. Um, hope this has been educational and thank you for watching.